And here we go, another edition of Sports Medicine Weekly on this Saturday morning. Hi, everybody. Steve Cashel, Bulls radio host, along with Dr. Brian Cole. He is the head team physician for the Chicago Bulls, one of the co-team physicians for the Chicago White Sox, sports medicine specialist and orthopedic surgeon from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Got a full half hour of new stuff for you on this show. We'll finish it up with our staple, our Ask the Doctor segment, tell you how you can get involved, but some great guests. And uh, we're going to start talking about uh, something that uh, it's kind of a hot topic these days, Dr. Cole, the IV treatments. Can you explain to me, before we bring on our first guest, um, what is IV hydration therapy? I mean, the most you know basic element of IV hydration therapy are in people who can't normally take intake of fluids, for example. So it could be, you know, nausea, vomiting, other things that just don't allow them to keep up their hydration. And and obviously, that's traditionally has been in the medical setting. Extend that to a situation where you have an athlete who's. Uh, uh, in a, either they're sick. We have situations like that where they can't. We're we're trying to get them back to play. Uh, they could assist in recovery and things of that nature. But it's historically been for more acute situations that they can't manage necessarily themselves. But in, uh, in terms of just drinking, you follow me? Yeah. So what's happened over time though is that those benefits have been pretty visible, and people now say, you know, what about for? Uh, recovery after you know a hangover. What about for uh, I want to recover for my next sporting event and do this electively? What if I just want to feel better and be more hydrated than I can normally be uh, with the electrolytes and fluids that I can take uh, orally myself and do it very rapidly in a very efficient way? So there's no question this has been an evolutionary, almost cultural, uh, uh, innovative way to get hydrated. And it's, and, you know, truth be told, it, it has a there's, a, there's a definite ongoing dialogue or narrative that goes on with this. Some of it's controversial and some of it's well accepted. So it's a really interesting topic and it's kind of perfect for our show just given, you know, the different sides of the equation that we know of. Yeah, I agree. Well said. Let's bring our first guest because they do it here in Chicago and I see Champaign, Illinois as well. A lot of a lot of partying athletes uh, going on down there. Oh, I mean, partying, and then there's athletes. Uh, <laughs> athletic performance and IV treatment. Let's bring on Dr. Dr. Jack Dibus from IV Me. That's four letters, I-V-M-E. And Dr. Jack, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Dr. Jack, by the way, is a board-certified physician, trauma surgeon, general surgeon, also a member of the American College of Osteopathic Surgery. And uh, thanks so much for joining us, uh, Dr. Dibus. Appreciate it. So let's dive right into this. How does your company, IV Me's Athletic Performance IV Treatment, health athletes who uh, else can, uh, and who else can use this treatment, basically? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, and Dr. Cole actually did a really good job of uh, giving a, a really good uh, explanation of, of what we're doing. Um, I'm not going to let you off the hook, though. You're still going to have to answer the hard questions, okay? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, and he, he's right. It did kind of start out as a hangover treatment. Uh, an anesthesiologist out in Vegas noticed that a lot of symptoms of a hangover were, were very similar to people coming out of anesthesia postoperatively. Um, and so he kind of put two and two together and really gave a lot of the same things we give in the hospital to the general public who previously didn't have access to that kind of care. Um, I think Dr. Cole could probably vouch for me, you know, as you go through medical school and your residency, you, you meet a lot of people who have done IVs. You see them in the hospital all the time. It's, it's a common thing. Um, and as part, it's kind of like a perk. When I got sick as a surgery resident, my first IV that I ever got was when I was, you know, 26 hours in house back in the days where you'd be, you know, your call was 40 hours or so. And uh, I had food poisoning, and an anesthesiologist took me in the back and gave me a couple of liters of, of LR and some Zofran, and, and I was right as rain. So um, we, we, we treat a wide variety of people. Um, the interesting part is, you know, there is a, a wide range from the hangover crowd to the super elite athletes. How do, how do you decide what to give someone? Is it based upon the condition, or does everyone get the same thing, LR, which is lactated ringers, or sometimes we use saline or salt water, various concentrations. How do you make that decision, and do you, do you sometimes get blood tests to figure out what they're depleted uh, with or what things are missing? Uh, we will at times, but essentially it's, it's very much like going into an urgent care or an ER where you're going to come in, and first off we're going to say, you know, why are, why are you here? Um, 
and that'll help direct us. If it's, you know, you were out with your friends last night or you just, you know, had a 20-mile run getting ready for the marathon, um, that'll give us a direction. Um, and then we have different cocktails, so to speak, or, or variations, different IVs we give, but then we tailor it to you based on your symptoms. Yeah. So and, and uh, what, we do and a, what, a quick history and physical, and, and you'll make sure you don't have any medical conditions that would preclude you from getting the, the treatment. Um, and so we do it like that. And when we have more advanced patients who we see on a, a more regular basis, we'll, we will draw blood and try to figure out exactly what's going on with them. It, it, I don't know how pervasive the you know the availability of this is, but for you and your company, let's just take the Chicagoland area. How many IVs do you guys start a year? Ooh, a year, I would say fifteen, twenty thousand. 20,000. I mean, that is just astounding. It is. I mean, it if, really you, is. If, you, if you break it down in like the top five reasons, if you're willing to do this, and again, I'm not looking for anything proprietary. I'm just trying to get sure. my arms around it. Um, what's, what are the groups of people who are being treated, you know, sort of in descending order? Um, descending order, probably number one is kind of like cold and flu. Okay. Um, and then probably hangovers depends, you know, and, and it, it varies by day. Obviously, on the weekends, we get more hangovers. We have a lot of people who are doing it for general wellness. There are so many people that are traveling um, and that are, are just extremely busy and they get worn down and they, they'll do it for that. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of athletes, too, will have a lot of uh, – we treat a lot of professional athletes from all the sports teams um, for various reasons. Um, and, and also um, we'll have people who are uh, kind of weekend warriors. Who, who you know they'll want to run a marathon and then but they want to get back to work on Monday, uh, and that's what really really helps. Um, so it's, I, I don't know top five, but you know basic illness is number one probably, and then it, I'm I was shocked at how many other medical illnesses that you'll see that are chronically dehydrated. Um, we had an old orthopedic surgeon who used to drive from Cleveland who'd come in. Uh, he was a, a gentleman who suffered from Crohn's disease. And he knew every time he'd get a, a bout that he'd have to go in the ER and get a couple of liters of fluid, and then he'd send him on his way. So he used to come and see us. Again, we're visiting with Dr. Jack Dibus from IV Me. Let me let me ask you the the elephant in the room question, if that's okay. What sure. how, what where how do you address the issue if you do it all of sort of the accountability factor? You know, I've got young kids, and if I and, and if they were detour, deterred from having a hard night out, okay, uh, you know mm-hmm. they're they're college level and you know they're i'm sure they're 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 participating in some fashion or another and if they knew that they don't have to watch it or whatever and then the next day they feel crummy they can just get an iv and there's sort of that absence of accountability how do you address i'm sure you've got parents you, you've you've had been asked that question before how do you address it because some of these are avoidable consequences of just behavioral decisions and you know i'm just curious about your thoughts with that De- definitely on the drinking side. Um, yeah. But again, that's not most of our patients, but when they do, what we have done uh, multiple times, if we feel someone, first off, we don't treat anyone who's actively intoxicated with whatever, just yeah. because they can't make uh, informed consent and a multitude of other issues with that. Um, we don't treat minors with rare exceptions, and the minors, you know, obviously must have a parent present, and it's for a medical reason. Right, right. Um, and if someone comes in and we're seeing repeat customers, you know, we track everything. It's a, it's a medical facility. We have electronic medical records. We know right. when, what you come in for and when. And if we see repeat offenders, so to speak, um, for reasons that we think are dubious uh, or we think, you know, they have a problem, we refer them to, to get help at a substance abuse program uh, or, something like, or some other resources. Yeah, I think um, that's, a, that's a very responsible way to manage it. Doc, we're out of time. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, the website is ivmechicago.com. Our guest has been Dr. Jack Dibus from uh, Athletic Performance and IV Treatment. Uh, appreciate it, Doc. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.